Hi, I'm David with General Air. L56 has been a staple in the solid wire ER70S6 game for a long time. But Lincoln Electric has a newcomer, and that's L59. Let's talk about some of the differences that you can expect from using this new wire. On paper, they're very similar. The L56 and the L59 have the same things inside of them, the same carbon content, the same silicon content, and all of the other alloys. Usually what you'll see in a wire that runs smoother, like this L59 does, is a higher amount of silicon, but they have a roughly the same amount of silicon in there. So what's the difference? Why does the L59 run so much smoother, have better wetting action than the L56? Well, it's a proprietary coating on the wire. I found this out from Lincoln when I started asking him what is so special about this wire and why does it run so different? Now, is that in the copper coating on the outside or is it in some sort of lubrication system of the wire? I'm not sure. Again, it's a proprietary solution for the L59, but I will tell you that it makes it run absolutely fantastic. The other thing that it does is it increases its deoxidizing as it welds. So it's able to scavenge the impurities off the weld and clean better than you would see with an L56 or a similar ER70S-6 product. Here is a face of the L56. You can see it's got good wet in at the toes and it's a decent looking weld. We'll flip over to its cross section of this L56. We can see very decent penetration. I did this with the GMAW-P or pulse process. So you're gonna get some great penetration. It's got a good, we call weld nugget on there. We got some root penetration. Um, everything looks good with this L56. Let's take a look now at the face of the L59. What you'll notice right off the bat is the toes are just a heck of a lot smoother. Certainly they're, the welds are gonna perform the same, but the appearance of the L59 is absolutely fantastic on those edges. Now, looking at the cross section, you've got the same story that you did with the L56. It's got good penetration, but the weld nugget just seems a lot more homogenous across the whole section of the material. Here is the L56 on some quarter inch plate. Difference here, as opposed to that eighth inch plate we were looking at, is that this is hot rolled steel. So no cleaning involved. We just welded right over the mill scale, trying to see how the two wires would handle the scale. And L56, as I would expect, it handles, handles mill scale just fine. The face of the weld is slightly convex and the toes are in good order. Now let's take a look at the cross-sectional area and it's got good fusion. We got good fusion at the root of the weld. This is a partial joint penetration weld, so we only need to just get penetration right where the two pieces meet. And it does that fine. Uh, it, typical solid wire here. We've got a little bit more penetration uh, towards the root and then it bows out or bows in, I should say, uh, towards the edges. Here's the L59's face. And immediately I can tell we've got a flatter face of the weld. It's not as convex as the L56. Now they were done with the exact same procedures. We had the same wire diameter. Everything was held the same between the two wires, the travel speed and all that. The wetting action at the toes is absolutely fantastic with the L59. You can tell that the L59 just handled that mill scale and oxides a lot better than the L56 did. The real surprise for me with the L59 is the penetration profile. Again, didn't change anything with the machine and just welded both of them side by side. And we can see with the L59 that the penetration profile is a lot more rounded and a lot more consistent, consistent throughout the whole nugget of the weld. The way I look at these two wires is they're both fantastic. L56 has been a staple in Lincoln's arsenal for a long time. And it's great wire, it's very proven. But when you have a wire that has better wetting action and can go a little bit faster on some dirtier plate, well, that's gonna spell out production and savings at the end of the day. I think that the L59 is setting a new standard for 70S6 wires in the welding industry. And I'm really excited about this product. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about General Air, check out our website linked in the description below.